So, live? Yep. So I'm here with the developer of a new game for uh, the Wii U and possibly Switch. Uh, Swap Force? Swap Fire. Swap Fire. Swap Fire. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, See, I was, was going to ask like, if that was actually... We like, make that joke. Not. In fact, in the, in the loading screens, we have a thing for tips, and that's one of the tips. It's Swap Fire! Swap Fire! Yeah. Yeah. So it's a couch multiplayer for Wii U. Okay. The core mechanic is that when you shoot somebody, it opens a wormhole, and you and the other player switch places. Yeah, yeah. That's a core mechanic. It's nine different modes. All that use that mechanic. We just played Drop Zone, which is where you have to jump off the edge and shoot someone while you're falling in order to get them off the edge and score points. So how many modes, um, like how many different game modes are in the game? Yeah, there's nine different multiplayer modes, and there's like an extended tutorial uh, single player. Nice. We have it. Yeah. So, um, how long have you been developing on the Wii U? Uh, so, our team's actually been making mobile and PC games for a good while now. This is our first console game. It took us about a year and a half to build. We released it on the Wii U this past November. Oh, okay. Which is unfortunately kind of the Wii U, the yeah. end of the Wii U yeah. stuff. So. Yeah. But, um, we need a Kickstarter, it got back, it was a small amount. We've been talking to some investors about fully funding the Switch I want to take a look over here real quick. We've got a, concept, a shot of a character on the screen. Oh, what a character would look like. You can see right there. Oh, oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. oh, wait, oh. So this is what a character would look like on the Switch sequel. Season oh, two. Oh wow, that's, that's way better. So obviously, you know, our core team for this was just two people and a couple artists every now and then. Yeah. And uh, this team, we'd like to you know, have a fully funded team with uh, more professional developers. It's a series of AAA. So the guy who made this is an ex epic guy. It does kind. Of, it does have kind of have that epic feel to it. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's pretty cool. I'm not in love with her. <laughs> Um, so, what made you want to do a puzzle game if you've been on, like, mobile development? That's a good question. Uh, I mean, my boss and I are just passionate Nintendo fans. Oh. And he became a licensed Nintendo developer years ago, but never got around to making anything. And when I joined him, we were like, hey, why don't we just go for it? And we did it. And it's been pretty cool. We, uh, we did a sale back when the Switch came out. We gave it away for free to kind of just build the audience. Yeah, yeah. And we did it right, you know, when Breath of the Wild came out. Yeah. So people would go to buy Breath of the Wild, and they would see our game for free on the list. So yeah. we got basically 20,000 players from that. And we're gonna try to use that core base to try to get the sequel in. Because I did hear like when the Switch first came out, it's like it had a decent amount of um, pretty, a lot of like titles on like a digital shop. Like, so yeah, 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 yeah. Like being one of the first ones to be on there. No, we're not on the Switch. Oh, you know, oh, that's right. Yeah, we're working on, on being on the Switch. Working on the Switch. Yeah. But um, we put it on the Wii U eShop, and we put it on sale then alongside Breath of the Wild. So how was it like, because I'm always trying to figure out how hard is it to get on the Wii U platform? Because I've seen good games on the Wii U platform, but then I've seen like just oh, bare sure. bones, basic, like yeah. flappy bird bones. There are a couple, I mean, it's it's definitely harder than other consoles. I didn't go through the process, my boss did. Um, but yeah, from my understanding, it was a bunch of interviews, and you've had to have made a bunch of previous games. But the opposite end of the spectrum would be mobile development for Apple or Android, where it's just like a hundred bucks a year, and you can just do it. Right? With Nintendo, it's a pretty long process. Well, because I'm sure they want like quality. They do, and Nintendo definitely has a quality standard. But you know, some games come through, and maybe they're not as polished. Yeah, as exactly. Expected. Yeah. So what? Um, for the mobile games, like what kind of games were those? Like, were they like? Uh, so, what was? Oh yeah, very different. Um, the two bigger games that he made were uh, one's called Airspin. That's my favorite. That is, it's basically if you're played, uh, it's kind of like Pilot Wings. It's kind of like. Uh, Wii Sports Resort. Oh, but um, you know, you know the mode Wii Sports Resort with the planes flying around. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's a lot like that, but no. And he had a couple other ones where uh, Cast for Crash was one, and a more artistic one that had a uh, musician Kishibashi on it. But yeah, it's very different from Fortnite. This is very different angle we made to Because it has like that vibe of like when um, Plug and Plays. Oh, it's like it's like something I could totally see like like Nerf getting involved. Sure. Yeah, I mean we definitely build it in the spirit of like N64 so, yeah. that's what I love. No, those are great. Yeah. Cart, Smash. Yeah. So it's in, so it's more of a kind of like all right, we did a bunch of mobile games to get us some moolah. Sure. So sure. now we want to do something for the concert because yeah, it's yeah. passion. Right? Yeah, we're just a little software company. We do other things like contract and whatnot. But the dream is of course to be full time gamer. What would be um 
if this like becomes successful on the Switch, what would be the next step? Do you, do you think you want to do more console games? Oh, definitely. I mean, we would like to make a trilogy of this one and make other games, hopefully Nintendo, which would be like Nintendo Switch. But if they're successful enough and other consoles or people, fans want them on other consoles or screen, we can say that. So I just, like, one other question is, like, I'm always curious about this, like, you think, like, you're obviously, like, a fan of, like, yeah, yeah. games, stuff like that. So, like, you clearly wanted to go into game development. Yeah, yeah. So what shifted you first to mobile and the console? What made me shift? Yeah, like, what like what was, like, the turning point? Like, okay, so I, I actually just joined this team two years ago. This is my first black jacket with this team. Okay. okay. But um, the first thing I ever did when I was in college was just a couple of mobile games. That's an easy way to start because mobile games have, you know, less of, you know, less polish needed, right? Yeah. It can just be a simple one. And that's the first couple of games I made. But then getting to work on this, this takes, you know, it took us a year and a half. Yeah. It takes time. So it's pretty much like, okay, let's start with like something small and easy to make, and then shift into turbo. Yeah. Yeah. No, it looks awesome. Totally. No, and it's on Wii U now. It is. It's actually, I think it's on sale on the Wii U show. It's only $14.99. You might be able to get it like $7.99. That's not bad. You should check it out. Alright, thanks, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I can do it.